So what we're trying to do is essentially use the same recipe that we did here. Here we wanted to add two elements of GF2 to the M, so what we did, we just added the polynomials, of course. And, that, and of course, we, we, we try to do the same thing. So our, what our intuition tells us, intuition, intu, intuition, our Gefühl, Bauchgefühl, let's try the same thing again, intuition. Just do regular polynomial multiplication. Again, it worked it essentially worked with addition and subtraction. It wasn't that bad. You just multiply and hopefully we're there. Okay. Let's start with an experiment, okay? Let's not, not, not give a theorem, but let's, let's start, what's, let's look what's ha what, what happening. Again, we use GF2 to the 3. We want to multiply A times B, and we take the same polynomials as before. Why not? So but we're not adding the polynomials, we're multiplying the polynomials here. It's x squared plus x plus 1 times mal the other polynomial mal times this here. You can take any other polynomial, okay? But it's, this, is, this gives nice examples for the blackboard, okay, if you use this example. So what you're now going to do is you multiply, right? Aus, ausmultiplizieren. Okay. So first I take x squared times the other polynomial, so you get x to the fourth plus x cubed plus x squared. Plus x squared plus x plus one. Okay. Seventh grade, okay, ausmultiplizieren. Okay, this is not complicated. So now it's getting a little bit complicated. X4 is okay, X cube is okay. What happens with X squared plus X squared? What is this here? The same that we had here is zero, right? It's okay, one, one more line. This is one times one. This again cancels out, das löscht sich aus, right? It's so 1 plus 1 is, is 0 modulo 2. So this is equal to x to the 4 plus x, uh, x cubed. Watch out here. So. It seems everything worked out. What is Professor Parr talking about? It wasn't that hard, right? This was seventh grade math. Where is the problem now? Why, don't, wh why is this not the correct result? Where's the problem? It's not in the field. <laughs> field stops here. Right here, eight elements. You have eight, the eight elements. X to the four plus X to the third plus X plus one is not in the field. We have a problem, okay? This is why multiplication is complicated in finite fields, in, in extension fields, okay? So, how did we ausflug? Let's go back to prime fields. How did we deal with that with prime fields? Let's say we do GF7. We were in a similar situation, right? When you multiply, you know, it takes the elements 3 and 4. They're in GF7. You multiply, you get 12 out, right? 12 is not in the field here, right? So the field elements are only 0, 1, up to 6. How do we deal with that situation? What did we do? What was the magic thing we did? We did mod 7, exactly model reduction. So this is, okay, so 
And the same idea applies to extension fields. We want to do model reduction, but now you cannot do model reduction mod 2 or mod 7 or mod 4, but you have to reduce modulo what? Modulo what type of object do we have to reduce? Any ideas? Yeah, power of x, exactly. We have to reduce with, with a polynomial, okay? To, to get a polynomial smaller, if you wish, you have to, to divide by another polynomial and look at the remainder. And this is what we're doing. And let's give this a name maybe at this point here. So we call this here. You know, uh, uh, the final result will be C, right? A times B is equal to C. But this is not, we're not quite there yet. That's what we call that C prime, C strich. Okay, that's intermediate result, zwischen resultat. Okay. And now um, let's solution to this, to this, uh, um, to this situation, to this problem is reduce C prime of X, C strich von X modulo a polynomial and now the question what kind of polynomial let's go back to here for a prime field this was always modulo 7 and what, what type of number is 7 this is a this is a prime Right, so what we want to have now is prime polynomials, so poly po polynomials that you cannot divide, right? And I don't know why, and they're not called prime polynomials, which would make perfect sense, but they're called modulo polynomial um, that, in Gensefusi, in quotation marks, that behaves like a prime. These are called irreducible polynomials. Okay. So what, what do I mean with they behave like a prime? Surprise, surprise, you cannot factor them. You know, seven cannot be factored, it's, it's a prime. And if you look at 15, 15 is three times five, right? It ca can be reduced, it factors, so this is not a prime. The same here. If you want to do model reduction at this point, you need a polynomial that cannot be reduced, that does not factor, and this is called an irreducible polynomial. Irreducible polynomial. For GF2 to the 3 is we call that P, we, we, we always in this course we call that P of X and other, other people call that differently is P of X on I, the irreducible polyno, polynomial is X cube X, X of 3 X, X to the third plus X plus 1 the, the formal Definition is here, and this this definition is so. What you want to we want to multiply a times b. So the first thing that this definition tells you, you need p of x, and p of x is an irreducible polynomial. Okay, that's the first thing that you need. It's similar to a prime field. You need a prime, right? You need p equals seven. So otherwise, we cannot do calculations. Same here. If you have that, things become pretty easy. You do A times B. This is what we did so far, right? A times B. And then the definition tells us, oh, by the way, afterwards, you also have to do model, redu model reduction. And this is what we're going to do now when we continue with the example. So this 
So you do. Now we start with c of x here. Uh, x to the fourth plus x cubed plus x plus one. Divide fourth grade, right? Vierte Klasse. Division. You divide by x cubed plus x plus one. What you do now is, you know, you look at poly polynomial division by hand. So, so we do that. Well, we first we want to get rid of x to the four. So what we do, we multiply this highest coefficient by x. So this is x times x to cube is x to the fourth plus x square plus x. Okay. Then you subtract here. But we also know, because we do everything GF2, you can, the nice thing is you normally have to subtract here at this point, but you can also add. So it's a little bit easier just in terms of notation to do addition here. x to the fourth plus x to the fourth is zero. This is x cubed plus x squared. These two x's, they cancel again, die löschen sich aus, plus one, okay. We can continue, so we have x, x of 3 is still too big, x cubed, right? We want to get down here. Okay, so we can do one more iteration, plus 1. That means we add this polynomial, so this is x3 plus x plus 1. Again, we add, and the result is this here. Okay. So what we've done so far here, so this was a times b. This is p of x. And this is, a, is the, uh, what you have at, at the bottom of this algorithm. This is the resultat. So this is a times b mod p of x. Okay, so this is the result of our computation. So one question that, that, that might come up at this point is where, I, where do I get this polynomial from? Okay, so there's maybe one, one remark here. Um, for every field gf2 to the m, there are several irreducible polynomials. That means there is more than one, which is kind of unusual, okay, which is, is different from the prime case, from prime fields. If you want to have the field GF7, there's obviously there's only one prime number seven, right? There's not a seven B or something, you know what I'm saying? So there's only one, obviously one prime number. It's different here. So we have, for instance, this is a um, uh, irreducible polynomial and I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is irreducible too. Okay, and now, and this, this is in just, we, we're not used to that. If you have a given finite field, let's say GF2 to the 3, the results of your computation depend on the irreducible polynomial. That means if I tell you, please compute something in GF2 to the 3, you cannot do that if I don't give you the irreducible polynomial. Because if you do this operation with this different P of X here, right? you get a different result out, okay? So that means for a given finite field, if, if you actually want to do, you want to encrypt with AES, for instance, you need a polynomial, okay? And believe it or not, this is part of the AES standard. And I call that the AES irreducible 
polynomial is the following. Since here we're dealing not with gf2 to the 3, but gf2 to the 8, p of x is x to the 8 plus x to the 4 plus x cubed plus x plus 1. 